Puppy! Here we go! In the semifinals of the TWL League, guys, there's only four teams left. Money on the line. Today we've got WHF versus Activity. And Activity coming in with the first attack here with the Pecker Smash. The pe the Pee Wee Wee attack. It's our favorite attack. But they got Bat Spells as well. Okay. Let's see how they're going to do it. Funneling with the Yeti at 10. Warden Walk up at 12 o'clock. Here we go. Is he going to try to Warden Walk? A single target in front of the tower. Looks like he is. A little ballsy here. Probably gonna have to invest a rage and a freeze. And then he still has bats for later? No, he's not gonna warden walk the single. Okay, here comes the ice golem, the queen, the peckers, and the wizards. He's sending a crap ton of loons to go snipe that inferno. Ooh, I think it's gonna work as well. Ice golem pops. He doesn't even need to rage, dude. He sends five loons and they should be able to take out that single. King to funnel the left side of the base. Here we go. Jump spell down. Rage spell down. Warden ability down. The single target inferno and the wizard tower went down to those loons. Nice. He's just going to blimp the town hall from the 730 angle. As long as there's no tornado trap, it should be cash money. Indeed, it gets there. Town hall should be dropping. Troops in the court are doing a mighty fine job. All three peckers are still alive. The healers are transitioning over to them. King's going to take out the scatter on the left side of the base. The super wizards in the core are doing a phenomenal job of clearing through all those defenses. Down goes the second scatter. Here comes the Royal Champion, and we still have bats. Holy crushed. I think this is going to smash the base. The bats get through the Wizard Tower. We got two freezes and a Royal Champ ability to get through a Tesla farm and a back-end Wizard Tower. He's going to go with the first freeze a little bit early. That might have been a tad bit early, but don't worry. He's got one more freeze. There it goes. Bats are hopefully going to be able to get through that Wizard Tower. They do. The Royal Champion helps. He still has the Royal Champ ability. Tornado hits the bats. Say good night to all those bats. Back to the cave they go. Except some of them dodge it. Woo! OP bats. Wizard Tower on 1 HP. Snipes the bats, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The base is gone. Sir Longsword's base. Not going to get a defense today. Mad Gear from Activity going to triple with a minute to spare. Beautiful attack to start off the match for Activity. And let's see if WHF can keep up with their first hit. Nicholas coming in with the first attack for WHF. Let's see what he's bringing. Coming in with the Queen Charge Hybrid here today. All right. Sneaky Goblin to Funnel. A couple balloons as well. We're going to blimp the Town Hall right away. But we hit a Seeking Air Mine. Is there a second one? There is, but we got the Rage Spell. The Air Sweeper didn't hit it for some reason. Okay, that's nice for us. Rage Spell. Yetis. Down go the Town Hall. No questions asked. We don't get a CC pool though. Which definitely could have been nice if we did. The Expo stays up with 1 HP. That's worth noting. That might be doing a lot of damage to the Queen. And hopefully she doesn't skip it. Although he probably could just sneak in one Hog. And he does. There's the one Hog. Lex with the OP predictions. Wall Breaker to get Queen into the single target in front of Tower Compartment. That one Hog is also going to give us a partial CC pool. Looks like 1, 2, 3, at least 78 minus 9 Archers coming out of that CC. I think. That's just the Lex Toast estimation. Could be off by a few. Uh, we got three more Cocoa Loons in the bag. Two Rages to use on this Queen. Unfortunately gonna lose a healer right there to a Seeking Air Mine. And we find another Seeking Air Mine with a Cocoa Loon. And another! Yo, did Activity bait this? Oh, oh, he loses another one! Dude, rip these healers. Nicholas is losing so many healers. He's only got two or three left. Has to freeze the single. Queen can take out the single. Where's the rest of the CC troops? They're about to come out any second now. Here they come with the poison. Tons of headhunters. Oh, the freeze was early. The freeze was early. He missed one, but that's okay. Queen shoots it. Woo. One more wall breaker to get us to the core. That'd be pretty cool. King on the outside. Hybrid at three o'clock to force Queen into the core. There goes the wall breaker. As long as we don't lose any more healers, this Queen can still get really good value. We got another rage and the Queen ability. Here comes Hybrid straight into the Eagle Artillery. Find the tornado trap. We got a bunch of miners sprung off the map. There goes the last rage on the queen. First heal is down. One more headhunter in the bag. We're going to try to save it for the king. That one headhunter did get one shot off on the road champion. That's going to allow our queen to keep her ability as we move into the back side of the base. King on the top side already used his ability. He's still going to be able to get a few more structures. We pop that warden ability to save the road champion from the single. Sneak in the headhunter to help deal with that king. And come on, down go the single. Royal Champ, Royal Champ. Oh, she barely stays alive. Queen is tanking the scatter shot. That's actually super important. That helps a ton because we already used all of our spells. No more heals to keep the hybrid alive. No more freezes. Royal Champ popped her ability. She's back up to full health. 
as we make our way into the bottom side of the base, the queen stayed alive forever. Even though it felt like activity baited that entry completely with like 70,000 seeking air mines, it still works as long as he has time. Don't tell me it's a Lex Jinx. Only 10 seconds on the board, but he's already at 98%, 99, and the three stars on the board for Nicholas. And just like that, WHF with a triple of their own tie it up after the first round of attacks. Tacidia from Activity coming in with their second attack of the match. And it's going to be a super witch attack right here. Five lightnings, one earthquake. Looks like he's going to be zapping the inferno tower here on the southwest side of the base. Warden to make a nice little funnel and then super witches straight into the town hall. Pretty basic strategy here. There go the lightnings. There goes the earthquake. Down goes the inferno tower. The funnel's already been established, so no need to wait any longer. Here he goes with the queen. Doesn't want to waste too much time. Wall breaker is going to be cash money. Give everybody access to the town hall here. He's being very patient with the super witch deployment, though. Wants to wait till that gold sword is dead, I guess. King to help funnel the top side. We still have a siege barracks to drop up at 12 o'clock as well. There go the Coco Loons out in front. Queen's taking a lot of damage now. Gonna have to pop the queen or the warden. Gotta pop one of them. Ooh, don't let Queen die through her ability. We're going to pop the Warden ability right there. Save the Queen ability for later. Okay, we don't have a Poison spell to deal with these CC troops, but that's not a big deal for Super Witches. The big boys and the Super Witches have so much HP. With that Warden ability, they just don't die whatsoever. Ice Golem out in front to help support the King and the Siege Barracks. And here we go. We got a Jump spell to get us into the core, but he's not using it. He's waiting, being very patient. Wall breaks to the top side, but he still cannot reach the multi. Had to pop the queen ability there. Warden's getting hit hard by that multi-targeting Inferno Tower. We got to jump to it soon or else the Warden's going to die. There goes the jump spell on the right side of the base. Rage into kind of the middle. I think there's one healer on the Warden. It's hard to tell. The Warden's losing a lot of HP. He might die, and indeed, he does die to the multi. Hogs from the Siege Barracks actually go to the core. While the rest of the troops wrap around the right side of the base, we still have our Royal Champion to deploy. The multi and the core did go down to the Siege Barracks Hogs, but we lost all of our healers, which is bad news bears. He uses the Royal Champion at 7 o'clock to help the back end of the base, but the Royal Champion's all by herself. This is going to be close. One Super Witch does take out the Eagle. Queen at full health, but no ability. Royal Champ has to pop her ability. Can she get the scatter shot with the help of this freeze? It'd probably be worth it to go ahead and freeze. Let her get the scatter shot. Come on, freeze. Decidia? What, what? What? Oh, she clears the compartment. We're going to save the freeze. He still might get this. Super Witch in that weird dead zone stays alive. Queen's still alive. The Expo might reroute. No, Ooh, it's still on that Super Witch, which means Queen can stay alive. If she can shoot the Expo, it's a triple. She goes in for the Expo. No way, this is still going to work. The wizard dies to a giant bomb. 98%, but we got to get through a couple walls. Unless the minion has enough time. With the help of the headhunter, they got it, dude. 18 seconds to go. 99%. And down goes the gold storage. Calculated. Tacidia from Activity. Going to get it done for his team. Another three star on the board. And they are two for two. Putting that pressure right back onto WHF. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that join button right next to the subscribe button if you want to help support the channel. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want to help the YouTube algorithm promote my channel to other people. Thank you so much for the support. Here we go. Elliot with the next attack for WHF. Coming in with the drag bat attack. Right, all right. Early road champion and baby dragon from the top side of the map. See how much value that road champion can get. Have to pop the ability on the cannon. We damage the warden tower, damage the expo, but don't kill either. Minion at 9 o'clock, balloons at 7.30. King at 3, to walk down. Queen in behind. We're not going to grab the single. Have to pop the king ability early there as he gets locked onto as well. All the dragons coming in from the 1.30 side of the base. All right, all right. We got balloons in. We got rage spell to help support. Holding on to that Warden ability. There goes the Warden ability as we encounter the multi-targeting Inferno Tower in the core. And that Royal Champion CC Troops coming out. Mass Headhunters and Archers. Uh-oh, we don't have a Poison spell. Can the Warden stay alive? No, he gets absolutely demolished by those Headhunters, dude. Big yikes for our Warden. Blunt the Town Hall with the Rage spell. Queen actually beat through a wall here to help out the Dragons. And we still got Bats. We don't have a Royal Champion, but we do have six Bats. Three Freezes. 
and an ice golem. He's gonna bat wave from the top side of the base, trying to use the ice golem to distract the wizard tower and is successful in doing so. Balloons and dragons on the south side, even without a warden, are actually getting a ton of value here. Can we get that wizard tower without freezing it again? Yes, we do. Keep freezing the scatter shot. The lower wizard tower is distracted by dragons and it's gonna work? Hold up, we still gotta get through the queen. It's not over yet. Down go all the defenses. Tornado trap pops just a little bit too late. Doesn't hit the bats. It does hit the dragons, spinning them around, making them do the disco dance. But now the bats and the last two dragons can tag team that enemy queen. And with over a minute on the board, it's crushed. Elliot with the beautiful drag bat attack as his sneaky goblins get sprung off the map right there. A minute to spare. Bats working on that king, but it doesn't matter. As the last storage goes down, we see three stars on the board, even with his warden dying super early, he still crushes the base. And man, oh man, what a match we have here today, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams start off two for two. Fialho with the next attack for activity. Let's see what he's bringing. Coming in with a drag bat attack of their own. Okay. They saw how crushing Elliot's attack was, so they wanted to come in with a drag bat of their own. Sending an Ice Golem and the King on the top side of the base to go take out that multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Queen over at 9 o'clock. Ice Golem pops but does not freeze the multi. If there's a Skelly Trap that might stall up the King for a bit. Uh, doesn't seem to be any Skelly Trap so far. We're going to pop that King ability. Can he go for the multi? He's going for the Wizard Tower first. But no Skelly Trap means he'll be able to easily take out that multi. Down it goes. He might even get quite a bit of damage onto that Expo. There's a Skelly Trap by the Sweeper. Pulls two Headhunters and three Archers out of the CC. Is there anything else in there? Might be a Hound. Could be anything though. He was pulling it with ground troops. Queen made a nice funnel at 9 o'clock. Here come all the Dragons from the top left side of the base. He's very smartly not dropping the Warden until those Headhunters are dead. Now he can drop the Warden. Here come the Dragons straight into the Eagle Artillery. Going to push their way to the core. And we still have a Blimp for the Town Hall that he is going to send inside the Warden ability here. Rage up the Dragons. He finds a Tornado Trap. Can pop the Warden ability right there. Nothing else coming out of the CC, so I believe it was a Lava Hound that was in there, more than likely. Blimp makes it to the Town Hall. We're going to rage it up right there, make sure it goes down. We still got a Royal Champion and Bats to deploy. Hello, Tesla Farm on the bottom side of the base. There's a Scatter Shot and a Wizard Tower up top, but we can hit both of them with Freezes at the same time. Uh, he's going to send the Royal Champion straight into the enemy King. I don't know how I feel about that decision. She's going to get stalled up on the king and she's not going to be able to get a whole lot of value. And he sends the bats right behind. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. He's still going to have to freeze the wizard tower anyway. And the royal champion is just going to die. I feel like that royal champion definitely got wasted. We need the dragons to take out the wizard tower on the bottom side so the bats don't have to fight it. If they can at least do that, we're looking pretty good. Bats are meeting up. Take out the cannon. Take out the archer tower. We need them to take out the single really badly. He's going to freeze the single and the air defense. Dragon should be able to take out the wizard tower, but can the bats take out the single? They get the bomb tower. They're splitting in two different directions. Here they go up for the archer tower. Ooh, it's going to be close. The bats are dying. There's three dragons left with the warden at full health. Can they get it? They move up. I think they will be able to get it. There's a seeking air mine. The dragons are low. One dragon left. He's dead, but the archer tower drops. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that works. Wow. He's got a minion on the top side. Archer's at three o'clock. It's a matter of time. Warden snipes the platform. 96%, 20 seconds to go. It all comes down to the storage. And I think as long as the warden doesn't get distracted by the king. Oh, he did. Oh no. He shoots the king instead of the storage. Eight seconds, seven, six. Oh, what a heartbreaker. Yo, Warden snipes the king instead of the storage, and it's a time fail. 99% for activity. Nicholas's base gets the big defense that might just cost activity the match. Fresh air with the third attack for WHF. If they get a triple here, they are going to take the lead. Nine stars to eight. And oh my gosh, what is he doing? Skelly Donut for the clan castle. I love it. All right. He might be able to take out the air defense as well. And maybe. Depends on where these skellies go. He's having to use four skell four invis? Take out the CC. Normally it only takes like two in a quake. 
He didn't bring the Quake, but he does get the Clan Castle and the Air Defense, so really good value right there to start off. Uses one Wall Breaker at 1030. We got two more in the bag. He's got a Valkyrie for this Sui Lalo. He Wall Breaks both sides. I think he wants King to take out the Eagle and Queen to take out the Town Hall. Did he funnel perfectly? Which way does King go? Yes, King goes down. Queen should go in. Ooh, I'm loving this. Hashtag not sponsored by McDonald's, but I should be. Tornado Trap activates. Queen's going to spin around. Valkyrie to help deal with the Skeleton Trap. Down goes the Eagle. Man, this Sui is getting some insane value. He's going to be able to send the Stone Slammer directly to the multi in the core. That would be OP if he could. He sends two loons for a mortar at 5 o'clock. Still has the Royal Champion, remember. And he starts the Lalo from 6 o'clock. We still have a Royal Champion and a Stone Slammer to use, but okay. I can dig it. Bean got the Town Hall. We're hasting the group of loons at the bottom. Warden with the 730 group to push them into the core. Stone Slammer to push into the Scattershot compartment at 430. We're just going to try to drive the loons naturally into that multi in the core. We still got the Royal Champion in the bag, remember. There goes the Warden ability. Haste the loons. Hopefully they path to the multi. We get just enough to path to the multi with the Warden ability negating the damage from the Red Bombs. That is beautiful. Headhunters to help kill the enemy Queen and the Royal Champion. The Queen's still alive though, but the Dragon kills her. All the loons are clumped up, which could be bad news bears with a scatter shot on the back end. But he sends the Royal Champion to help take out the Tesla farm, and she distracts the scatter shot while the raged up loons come in to finish off the rest of the defenses. There we go, scatter shots down. Several loons making their way to the last Tesla. 55 seconds to go. Two loons in the bag, and it's crushed. Fresh air, getting it done for WHF, and they are going to be three for three and take a lead over activity here after the third round of attacks nine stars to eight with just one building making the difference man this is a close match beautiful hit here from fresh air very well done by him abdallah coming in with the next attack for activity they got to keep tripling if they want to keep up with whf who are perfect so far and abdallah coming in with the drag bat attack drag bat has been very successful for the most part today I think a triple, two triples, and a time fail? 99%? I think so. Let's see what Abdallah can do. He's got two super minions as well. All right, couple balloons for the cannon up top. King to walk into the Eagle Artillery Compartment. Stinky Goblin to help make sure he goes in there. Ice Golem to support as well. There we go. King should be able to take out the Eagle and hopefully the Royal Champion on top of that. Then what's the next move? One more Sneaky Goblin on the bottom. He's being very patient, not setting anything else up just yet. He wants to make sure the King's going to get all that value. It would be nice if the Ice Golem pops. It would have saved a lot of King HP. There it goes. Finally pops, freezes everything up. King does get the Royal Champion and the Eagle. Doesn't grab the Expo, though. Super Minion to help funnel at 630. We still got one more Super Minion in the bag. Hello, Skeleton Trap right there. Still have the Queen to deploy. There was a second super minion, so he's basically just using the two super minions as funnel troops. Okay, can the super minion at least take out the archer tower? That'd be nice if he could. One more shot. He does get the archer tower. That's nice. Dragons coming in from this bottom right side of the base. We already exposed the tornado trap and most of the Tesla farm. Four Teslas right there. Rage spell to help the dragons start pushing into the core. We still have the queen and the royal champion and the battle blimp. There goes the queen at 8 o'clock. Uh, Battle Blimp coming in behind the Warden. We're going to time it with this Warden ability right now. Boom. There goes the Warden ability. Queen trying to help funnel these dragons to push them into the core. Queen should actually stay alive for quite a long time and wrap all the way around that left side of the base. We still got the Royal Champion with the bats. Now, I think he needs these dragons to desperately take out that scatter shot in the core. We're going to send the Royal Champion into a ground expo. Okay. Bats from the top right. We're going to have to start freezing that Wizard Tower. Very soon. He's only got three freezes in the bag. First freeze. Perfectly timed. Royal Champion can pop her ability. We did get a scatter in the core. But there's still one more scatter on the back end that we have to worry about. And it's about to switch targets. Red Bombs hit the lower group of bats. Pop the Royal Champ ability. Freeze the scatter. And all the defenses are gone. Just like that. King is going to take out our Royal Champion. But it doesn't matter. Warden gets absolutely blacked in the face right there. But like I said, it doesn't matter. He's got a million and a half bats alive. Plenty of time on the clock. 40 seconds to spare. That Queen is still alive. He dropped her at 8. She wrapped all the way around to 12. And it's a 3-star in the bag for activity. 
putting that pressure right back on the WHF, who actually have to triple to maintain their lead. Sir Longsword coming in with a fourth attack for WHF. Let's see what he's bringing. Coming in with the Super Witch hit. Five Super Witches, five Lightning Spells, and an Earthquake. He's going to be zapping the left side single target Inferno Tower. Here we go. Take that down nice and early. Warden Walk at 9 o'clock to make the funnel. The funnel's already established, so he could go ahead and start with the next phase of the attack if he wanted to. He's being patient here, though. Going to wait just a little bit. There he goes, dropping the Queen and the rest of the healers. First Super Witch, second Super Witch already down. Siege Barracks at 6 o'clock. One more Super Witch at 7. Here we go. Super Witches are going to go straight into the Town Hall. He does have three Coco Loons in the bag that he could use. King on the outside to help make the funnel. That queen's taking a lot of damage and the healers aren't switching over to her. That could be troublesome here. We're going to have to pop one ability early. Finally, the healers switch. Jump spell into the core. Town Hall is going to go down to the big boys. Nicely done. Lava Hound's going to stall us up for a little bit. King has done a great job making the funnel. Jump spell will give us access to most of the base with the exception of that annoying pesky multi on the left side. Valkyries from the Siege Barracks come out to support on the bottom. Okay. King pops his ability, grabs the lower side bomb tower. Doesn't quite get the scatter shot. We're going to send our Royal Champion into that multi that we were skipping earlier. Pop the Warden ability in the core. Find the Tornado Trap on the lower side scatter. We got one Super Witch over there. Down goes the multi on the left. Healers are still alive. A minute and a half on the board. I think it's looking good. It's hard to tell though. Down goes that Expo. Royal Champion can clear the entire left side of the base, which means you can start dropping cleanup wizards over there. Royal Champion can pop her ability, get several defenses. We still got one, two, three, four Super Witches alive with healers. Our Warden unfortunately died, but I think this is crushed. He still has a freeze and the Queen ability. My goodness gracious. Plenty of time on the clock as well. WHF are just smashing bases today, guys. They are four for four. We pop that queen ability to help with time. And there's plenty of time to spare, though. 50 seconds to go. 99%. There's the three star in the bag. And WHF are putting on a show for us today. Beautiful hit from Sir Longsword. Here we go with Brian with the last attack for activity. Coming in with a little super witch action of their own. Now activity half to triple to stay in this match. Let's see if they can do it. He's gonna lightning and quake the top side scatter. If they do triple here, they're gonna finish with 14 stars and their only fail would be a 99%, which means the only way WHF can win the war is basically if they get a perfect war. My goodness, this match is insane. Warden makes a fun on the top side. The baby dragon took out the road champion. That was OP. As soon as that gold storage goes down, the funnel has been established and he can drop the queen. There we go. Ice Golem out in front. Super Witches in behind. Queen in as well. We're going to try to send all the Super Witches into the Town Hall Chamber. Probably going to see the King and the Siege Barracks on the outside to funnel. All right, all right. There goes the first Wall Breaker. Siege Barracks to support. Those Headhunters are about to wreck his King. Holy crap. They're just demolishing him, dude. Pop the King ability. Thank you. Finally. King lost almost all of his HP to those headhunters. There goes the first rage. Lava Dog did get popped. Town Hall gets activated. We're holding on to that Warden ability. Got a jump spell to get us access to everything. Nice jump spell right there. Actually, that jump spell did not give us access to the multi compartment. Interesting. He could have dropped it right on top of the expo and got access to everything. But it doesn't really matter thanks to the open walls. Valkyrie's coming out of the CC. Only the Queen and one Super Witch are taking the jump. If you would have dropped the jump further south, those witches actually would have taken the jump. There goes the Warden ability. Trying to keep everybody alive as we make our way into the core. We need the Queen to go take out the Multi or this is going to be bad news bears. There's the Tesla farm on the back end of the base. Queen's going to take out the enemy Queen. That's nice. We even snuck in a Headhunter there to help her with that. Queen's walking down. She's going to get the Expo, the platform. One Super Witch in the core to take out the Multi. That's beautiful. If we can keep the healers alive, that would be nice. Valkyries, Pecker, and Super Witches on the bottom side of the base are doing a phenomenal job. One Super Witch and Queen in the core. We're going to lose another healer to a Seeking Air Mine, but we still got two or three alive. We still have the Royal Champion to deploy. No more spells in the bag. But with the Royal Champion still up, I think he might have this. Royal Champion and a Wizard from the top side. We lost all the healers, but we still got the Queen ability. 
We still got the Royal Champion ability. Big Boys and Peckers doing the Disco Dance over here in the Tornado Trap with the Royal Champ ability, guys. 30 seconds to go. Clean up minions at 9 o'clock. Oh my gosh, I think he's got it. There goes the Royal Champ ability. Down goes the Tesla Farm. Down goes the Bomb Tower and the last Tesla. 24 seconds. It's going to be a Clan Clash Triple for Brian. Somebody tell me how to say that name, please. What a nice match for Activity. They finish with 14 stars, and their only fail is a 99% time fail, which means all the pressure on WHF. They have to get a triple to win the match. Hooked to Clash with the last attack for WHF to either win the match or lose the match. Early Lightning's in the core. Take out the multi. Damage the Expo. We get a Sweeper. We damage the Royal Champion. He uses his Royal Champion over here at 2 o'clock. Here we go. But a Skelly Trap pops to distract. We have an Invisibility. It's going to make her ignore the Skeletons. No, it doesn't. Rip. She's got to fight the Skelly still. Can't she get the Scatter? Hopefully. He wants her to get the Scatter. He does a little bit of funneling on the top side. There goes the ability. Can she get the Scatter? Yes, she does. Down goes the Scatter. She pulls CC Troops, though. Was that part of the plan? I don't know. Ice Golem and King going into the Town Hall. All the CC troops are coming out. Three Headhunters, two Super Minions. Where's the poison? There's the poison on the Headhunters. We need King and Queen to take out this Town Hall chamber. Two minutes and ten seconds left on the board. King and Queen going to take out that Town Hall. Tornado Trap activates. We're going to kill the enemy Queen as well. The enemy Royal Champion is very low on HP. We got three Headhunters for her later. Tornado Trap, we don't have to worry about. The Queen's not going for the Town Hall. Oh, the funnel wasn't there. Rip, she never went inside. Look at how she paths to go for the elixir storage. That's so dumb. She's not going in for the town hall. He's going to have to send the stone slammer there. That's so unfortunate, dude. She gets the wizard tower. She doesn't even kill the queen either. Oh. Oh, can he recover with a Nick tier Lalo? Two seeking air mines. Oh. He's got a freeze. Down goes the Town Hall. Hopefully, can we kill the enemy Queen as well? We need to kill the Queen. He starts to lull from the bottom side of the base. The Queen is staying up. Rip. Here comes a Lalo from the bottom side of the base with the Warden. We're going to have to worry about the Queen later. He still has three Headhunters. He's going to use have to use at least one to kill the Royal Champion. He sends all three. Oh, no. Hooked. Oh, hooked. Lava Hound flying across the map. We got seven more Loons in the bag. One more Haste. One Freeze to go. All three headhunters went to the king. The royal champion is popping all of our loons. Nothing went to the scatter shot. Oh my gosh. Why is he not using the last seven loons? There goes the last haste and the last freeze. The archer queen stays alive. The last couple balloons from the top side of the base. And it's going to be a defense for activity. And wow, WHF with the lead the entire time are actually going to lose match number one here in the best of two. Now, this is a best of two for the semifinals, so they're going to be spinning match number two right away. It's going to be tied on stars, 14 apiece, and activity are going to have a slight percentage lead after match number one here, and they got a 99%, and hooked here is going to get a 74%, which just means activity are going to be up by 20 Five buildings overall. Nice try to hook, but not quite enough for WHF win match number one. GG's to activity.